very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of this morning conversation. Now, my name is Ram Maguko. If at all you're just joining us, this is Why in the Morning. And of course, uh, right here on your number one youth station, Y254 TV, we're coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are still streaming through our website, and that's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. We value your feedback. Engage with us even as we continue with this uh, morning conversation right here on why in the morning now as i promised you earlier on today we want to have a conversation concerning matters concerning the nation and you and of course concerning the nation today we are ar ar around 53 days to the general elections that shall take place on august 9th 2022. Of course, we have our own presidential aspirants. You know them. And today, I have brought one right here in studio together with the, uh, 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 with the uh, uh, assistant, of course, the aspirant for the deputy president. Today, I am with Agano party uh, uh, presidential aspirant to my far right, David Maure Wahiga. Uh, thank you so much uh, for coming. Thank you, thank you, my brother Ram, Ramu. Uh, uh, appreciate being here. Asante, yes, And beautiful. of course, uh, next to him, you can see her, is, uh, that is uh, none other than Ag Ag Agano Party Deputy <laughs> Presidential Aspirant, uh, that is Ruth Mutua. Karibu sana. Thank you so much, Ram. All right. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It is a pleasure. And of course, we value your feedback, as I said earlier on, the hashtag as always is why in the morning, tag B. At Ram Agugo is where you can be able to find me and at Y254 channel. That is the official station handle. Youths, let's talk about matters concerning you because they are here. Ask your questions and let us be able to answer them. I, I am already seeing people already giving their comments. I shall sample your feedback a bit later on as you continue with this conversation. This is why in the morning, and of course, Karibu Nisana, as I said earlier on, let me start with uh, you, um, Ruth. Um, let us get to know more about you because there's some are saying, and, 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 and I shall read a bit about what they're saying uh, on, online. The same, they're saying that, you know, we don't know who these people are. We've not met them. We've not seen them. Who are they? Let, just um, in a nutshell, who is Ruth? Just something a bit more about yourself. And why are you vying for this particular seat for the uh, as assistant, for, for the deputy uh, president of the Republic of Kenya? Uh, well, thank you very much, Ram. Uh, I am Ruth and a graduate of uh, Nairobi University. I have done a double major degree in communication and sociology. Mm -hmm. I have been in the past, uh, or I have been in the corporate world mm -hmm. for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, why vying to be the deputy president of, of the Republic of, of, of Kenya? Why uh, would you choose such kind of an endeavor? Uh, I have put myself into this space because of the change that all Kenyans and all youths are desiring to achieve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have given myself up yeah. for the sacrifice of the youth, of also that woman who is tired of um, the old ways, mm -hmm. the old, uh, the old, um, the lack of organization in what is happening in the government. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to align things for us. I'm coming to be the voice that needs to be heard for the youth. Mm -hmm. And uh, His Excellency has picked me so that he's able to have a close ear to hear what the youth need to say because mm -hmm. I am in touch with them because mm -hmm. I'm in touch with the woman mm -hmm. and I'm able to articulate them that on his desk, directly on his desk and like as, as opposed of being reported mm -hmm. yes all right, all right. Let, let, let me come to you david uh, uh, uh i mean more um let's talk about who you are what you do and of course uh, as the same 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 question why vying for deputy for, for 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 the position of the president of the republic of kenya there is you know there's someone saying you know what more you're wasting time there are other people who, who 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 should be vying who are better than you why you thank you brother ram Thank you, Peter. listeners. I'm a senior lawyer, mm -hmm. over 35 years of practicing law. Uh, I'm a Pasi on Sundays. If, when I'm not campaigning in the afternoon or visiting a church, ah. I'll be there sharing the word of God. 
Mm-hmm. I am a father, I'm a husband of one, mm-hmm. and I'm a concerned Kenyan. Mm-hmm. I'm also a youth mm-hmm. because age, age is in the mind. Mm-hmm. And I can challenge you, Brother Ram, yeah. let you and I try a 100-meter dash. <laughs> That's when you know what you need. This is, this is not my first time to run. Mm-hmm. It's not, neither, I've ran for MP ship, for governor, for senator. And, and this is not even the first time that I'm expressing an interest in this seat of presidency. In 2010, mm. three years after I had registered this party, mm. founded it, a mm. party, which means Covenant Party, yeah. I expressed a desire and I declared that in 2013 I will be going in for presidency. But in between there were two and a half years, and uh, here in Nairobi where I had ran uh, for MP, my election was announced. And I said to myself, look, there are two and a half years you can serve the people in other ways. I went for the by-election, which did not turn out well. But by the time I was finishing that and we go to 2013, I said, let me try at a lower level. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in giving up. Mm-hmm. I am like Abraham Lincoln, mm-hmm. who had tried this thing for 13 years. And for 13 years, he got the presence of the U.S. Mm-hmm. Being youths, Kenya is looking for people who are determined, who are going to so who are not giving up. I am in this race because like you, my listeners, I'm angry, I'm concerned. I'm, 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 I'm told that you, you, we need to check your mic, so yes. uh, maybe we, we can be able to share that. Yes, yes. I, am in, I am in this race. Mm. Like you young people, like you youth, it's because I am a concerned Kenyan. I'm an angry, positively angry, mm. you know, Kenyan. Because 59 years after independence, we keep going round about certain mountains. Mm-hmm. And when I look at my competitors, I am seeing us going back there. We, we, we have been moving out the same, same issues. Same, same, over same and over issues. Again. And what are the issues? Unemployment for the youth. Mm-hmm. What are the issues? Uh, lack of skills. Uh, education is there, but, but you know, the unemployment is not there. Mm-hmm. What are the issues? A lot of talk and no action. So that you believe that you're going to bring a change? I, I will bring those changes. I'll bring those changes. Yeah. What are the issues? Corruption, you know, and I'll be giving you figures. 610 trillion Kenyan money, illegally, not legally, mm. stashed abroad because you can have a foreign account. But 610 trillion stashed abroad. Mm. What are the issues? Two billion, which should be going to help us, the youth, to help you, the youth, to effect the things that are being said which turns to 60 billion per month, 720 billion. All you need is to calculate it, and in a few years, less than two or so, you'll have paid the 8.2 trillion. No, no. So I am here to make a change, mm-hmm. and that's why our slogan with my running mate is, Sis in to Tabadilisha. We want to Tabadilisha. Badilisha is a slogan. Sis in Tunakuja Kubadilisha. Wezangu Hawawezi. You know... <laughs> Wezangu hawawezi. Wezetu hawawezi. Wale ambao tunagombada nao. And, and, and you know, at the end of the day, everybody, every one of the presidential aspirants that you've got has something that they're saying, you know what? We are the ones who are going to fulfill it. We are the ones who are going to do it. Now, let me come specifically to the youth. What plans do you have for the youth? And then I'll come to you, Ruth. Yes. Right. I'll just give you a sneak preview because very soon before, the, by the time we are turning to the end of the month, we're mm. giving you our uh, manifesto. And, and it has major issues about the youth. You, are, you, because, you have a launch of the manifesto yes, at the end of the month. Yes, you'll be having, we'll be giving a date. Mm. Just my committee today and tomorrow is finalizing on a couple of things. Okay. And even the dates. But uh, I know there are some competitors. One will be doing it on 30th, the other one on 22nd. Mm. It's round about there. All right. But, uh, but we, 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 are, we are concerned about the whole issue of unemployment. Mm-hmm. We are con- the, if I can go to their challenges... I, I know there the, are the, these regulations and uh, things that were put in place, how they should be getting government tenders. Mm-hmm. The Yagipo, I, I, if, if, if I got the economy right, mm. but we know it's only 30%. It is not efficient. They are not getting money out of it. I mentioned the whole issue of skills. Mm-hmm. I meant also, I, I also wish to refer to, because youth are asking, give us skills, then there is a whole issue of, a manifesto will be addressing the whole is, issue of easy credit and access to it. Now, his opesa, this is mimi naseme akwamba, sai tunaongea, our competitors, and I want to talk about our issues, not them. Mm. They know where it is touched, by who, and apparently some of them, some of them, now wenzao, now, you know, are the ones who have touched that money. And now they are moving around saying youth will give you 50 billion. Man, my brother, where will they get that money how, from? How do you know they, they, they have stashed? Do you have evidence? My, my, my brother, I'll tell you, 
it is from scandals that have happened during their times. And, and, and you don't need to be a rocket scientist. You don't need. It is from, it has come from Kenya. It hasn't come, allow me to say, from the moon or from Somalia. Mm. It has come from Kenya. It's come from our revenue, our taxes. The person who is there is, is either directly or collaterally involved. And, and I can say that because some of them, of course, have been mentioned in scandals. And, and, and let me even just say this. Mm. You've heard, like, there are two of them who keep accusing themselves, saying, where, where, dear, you are involved with you, you, people close to you in Kemsa. The other one saying, you and your friend were involved in YMCA. But I've mentioned about four things. Mm. My running mate and I, Ruth, we want to bring the youth into the center of this by issuing, where, for instance, the 30% of tendering, we would want to get it to even as close as 50, if not over. We want to see youth in nominated in positions. And my party has proposed a lot of names for nomination into parliament, senate, and counter assemblies. Oh, wow. We want to see youth in cabinet. And we've been discussing this thing, and youth will be surprised. Our, our cabinet, don't be surprised if close to. Mm. I'm, I'm using that because I don't want to. Be, we, we are tying the final things mm. close to that percent, if not even more, because they are also the women mm. and there are people with disabilities who will be going to the youth. You see, let me finish this, of, my brother. Of, of, of the budget? No, no, of, of the appointments. Of the appointments. Yes. We'll let me finish youth. this because it's very important. Right. 9th August is very key for the youth mm -hmm. because Kenya 59 after years after independence must go, must break through this glass ceiling. And it's the youth who can do it. Ruth and I, my running mate, we are saying, unless we change, we are rooting for change. Mm. Unless to badilishe. Our wezetu, nuwala wamekua hapo, na hata our wote, the proposals they are giving cannot move this nation to the next level. All right, let me come to you, Ruth. Still, your plans on the youth, and specifically I want to ask you on the issue of unemployment. Okay. You downplay the issue of the money being uh, promised. And, uh, and, and, and of course, um, I'll give you a right to, re to respond okay. to that, how, mm -hmm. uh, how that one works. Mm -hmm. But how are you going to solve the issue of unemployment if elected into office? Uh, our government, or this government, for us, we are planning to revive some of the industries that have gone down, industries that have uh, employed the youth, industries that have boosted the youth to even self-employment, um i would I, i'm from eastlands mm. so i believe that i'll use an example of a tout allow allow me mm. why should someone be a tout for 20 years so i believe this government is going to enable uh, to enable the the youth to access funds to buy themselves or to build up the, the uh, business, uh, to, uh, to build themselves uh, business opportunities. So this stout who has been in and jumping out of the door for 20 years should be able to access funds to buy themselves batatus and employ someone else to jump mm -hmm. or to stand at the door. Mm -hmm. So for us, it is part of... Um, part of reaching out. Mm -hmm. And when we, when we lift up the industries that have died, the, um, the, the youth is going to be called back. Mm. Yes, the, mm -hmm. the youth is going to be called back. There's going to be there's going to be vacancies for them to pick up. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So you you you're looking at targeting the specific industries, but 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 how feasible is that? That one can take years. Is it achievable within um, a short period of time? Have you looked at the feasibility of that? Uh, it it is workable. How long can it take to achieve that? Um. That one, I would, I would not give specifications of years, mm -hmm. but it is achievable because remember, in this gap of youth, mm. they increase per month per exactly, year. Exactly, exactly. Because so, we, we are looking at many, many youths coming out of of, of school, yes, coming out of university, yes. and you are talking about about uh, boosting the specific industries. Yes. And now, how how is it achievable when you have the different industries that still have issues amongst themselves? Mm -hmm. I could come in. Yes, let me, if I could come in, let, let me answer it from a different perspective. Yeah. In our manifesto, we have five pillars. We are saying in this nation, tunataka kuleta usawa, ukweli, umoja, upia, na uaminifu. Mm. Part of our driving force, we want an, 
to f to be the government at the door that we bring corruption to an end mm. or reduce it to near zero, if not below zero percentage. Yeah. And I'll tell you why this is important. Mm. Our money, mm. our money is usually lost. Our revenue, the money that should be reviving the industry she was talking about, mm. the money that should be going for is a credit, mm. is a two billion, and that was just in government. And all you need is Kenyans. We, we, we are not doing the multiplication to multiply to see how much this is. Okay. Is the money that I said is illegal? Is the money that uh, is wasted in bureaucracy? Okay. I brought in the whole issue of bureaucracy mm -hmm. or uh, in governmental operations, in misadministration. It's, it's, it's that money. We are saying money is here with us. Capital is here with us to pay the loan, to revive the industries to provide for easy credit, but we have lacked resource. You'll also notice, and I keep going back to the rest of us and why Ruth and I are different, is that the fact that they are not talking specifics on corruption. Sisu Tunasema, mm. we will even revisit the scandals that have gone on because, for instance, mm. because, for instance, just to give you an example, yeah. for instance, still, some I mentioned about two, we hear them praying around. You know, they are throwing, you know, whatever, like a tennis ball. Because they know they can't fight it because they are mired. But, 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 they are but, mired but, let me, let me ask the, but the whole objective, Ram, just in case yes. you get me right, yeah. is to recover our money, which I should have gone into the youth, into development. It is there in records, my brother. 610 Kenyan money is illegally stashed abroad. Why are we talking? Why don't we start from what we can see, what we have? Even if half of that found its way back here. My brother, the industries, the easy credit, the skills will be there. And this is, would be for the youth. Okay. All right. And, um, and, and, and through that, you believe it will be able to create an, um, oh, my brother, employment? My brother, the solutions are with us. The solutions are with us. It's been corruption. It's been wastage. It's been uh, bureaucracy. It's been moral administration and misadministration. It's been lack of uh, motivation. It's been ignoring the youths, not giving them skills. Youth want skills. It's been even when we put policies, we don't implement them. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of. There are, right now, if Ruth and I stood and says Nini Vijana to apatia one hundred billion, we don't even know how much we have. We have not even sat with the people in treasury we don't have access. In fact, all we know, and because it's in the public domain, even internationally, is that we have 82 trillion, and I think the last few days it's gone to about 10. That's mm. all we know. But we know this is a wealthy country, this is a country with potential, and, and we are saying we will be the people who will come and do that. All right. Um, let me quote you. You once said, and if, uh, this is just a few days ago, you, and I quote, Ruth, like myself, is concerned about the runaway corruption in Kenya, the poverty 59 years after, the, after independence, the high cost of living, the bad leadership, the recycling of leadership that comes year in, year out, the bureaucracy, and the never-ending impunity. That's you, right, my you, brother. I say what, that. Those are your words. I say that. And, and, and your father said, and I quote, and this is something that our company, Competitors will not be able to do because they have been the godfathers of this impunity and corruption. End of quote. That's what you said. Now, specifically, yes, my brother. you said that you are going to handle corruption in a very specific manner. Right. Now, how specific is it? You know, you know, we shall not be able to deal with the corruption unless we get to the root of it. We will get to the root of it. Our competitors cannot be because either directly or indirectly or by extension, they are participated in it. So that you'll find, like last night I listened to one of the broadcasters, and the discussion, there were two of them, there were women in one of the broadcasts, uh, it could have been uh, KBC, who started looking at it and said, your side, want you X, Y, Z, they mentioned the names. I, 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 I don't have the research, I don't have NIS research, but it is there, it is known in terms of names. So. Like every illegal tree or plant you don't want, where you go to the roots, we'll go to the roots. Yeah. One of the things we'll do is we we'll go for the main guys who've been involved in these matters. They are there, they exist. The president said to us every year, every day, two billion is lost. It is known. And we'll get those facts. We'll be the ones to effect that. Number oh. two, mm -hmm. the law is there. The sentences are there. Our courts are trying to do a good job. They have changed. They have changed. They are not unlike... 
before the Ringera, you know, there was a judge called Ringera yeah. who sent home half the mm-hmm, judges. Mm-hmm. They have continued gradually involved, getting tough, but they are still black sheep. We will get the law implemented. Number three, Ruth and I have said, Kama ni yeye, ama mimi ambaye ni takusika na ufisadi. That we have entered almost like an agreement. We shall call each other out. We shall ask for our respective impeachments. And not only that, we shall want the DPP, whoever they will be at that time, mm. like it happened in Singapore, mm. to have us face the law. Right. For Singapore to fight corruption after independence, President one you sent his cronies, who are his right-hand men, mm. to prison. They were sacked. And that's how and the message came across. And, and, and you can be able to oh, do we that want to do with that. your own cabinet. We are not wired with the dirt of the past. We, we, you can see even our campaign, we are running our own race. Yeah. Because when I look at what they are doing, it's our money, it's our taxes, it's money from those scandals, uh-huh. it's money from that impunity. All right, le, 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 let me come to you, Ruth. Still on matters concerning corruption, we've okay. seen these cases, they have been, they have been taken to court. Mm-hmm. And, and, and many Kenyans are saying, you know what, we are not seeing anything coming out of these things. How different will your government be if elected into office when handling corruption? Okay, for me, I'll just emphasize what uh, His Excellency has mentioned, that we have declared, we have sworn, uh, we have sworn to each other mm. that you, you are corrupt, you put in. I'm corrupt, I'm put in. So for us, we are coming in as a new broom. Okay. So for that reason, we are ready to take up those who have been involved in corruption because they have made us to be in the state we are right now. So for, for the youth and for the Kenyans, the mistake we make to put back the same corrupt people, it is going to cost us for the next five years or a decade. You know, they say that politics is a dirty game. Yes. Mm-hmm. We are, are not are, dirty. Are you going to clean, clean no, it up? No, we, we, <laughs> are, we are not dirty. Uh-huh. We, were investigated, we, are, we were allowed to reach this far by the EACC mm-hmm. because we are clean. Mm-hmm. We have no record of uh, corruption, and there's no way, there's there's no way we can agree with those that have messed up the country. So for us, we are in here to persecute anybody who has made me, not even someone else, me have a hard time, and the rest of the youth, women, and the country at large to be to have a strenuous economy. Mm-hmm. Yes, and of course there have there have must be lessons that we can pick up from previous regimes. Mm-hmm. In, com- in, in terms of fighting corruption, yeah. what are some of those things that you feel are loopholes that previous governments have not managed to seal? And you feel like you're going to come in and close or bridge that gap? Yeah, you can. Sure. Yes? Let's, let's, um, I, there has been a lack of resolve. Uh, people have called it Kenyans and you, the media, KBC, you've been in the forefront of talking about lack of goodwill resolve yeah. there has been a G- goodwill from who well, well, from from even the top at the top i'm talking the car, the executive and you know the executive is okay. big okay yeah uh-huh. Uh-huh. and and then there there has been the whole issue of uh, reappointing and recycling people who have been named in scandals mm-hmm. and it's been in the public domain somebody is named in kemsa then they are appointed uh, into um this is a, a the, 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 the one that gives you frequencies. They are appointed there, but I know they were dropped thereafter. There has been almost, the, 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 there has been a measure, this is the way we feel, my running mate and I, Her Excellency, that uh, the government and within the cabinet and the executive, when they know, for instance, when she knows I'm involved in corruption, instead of calling out and initially in, probably in private, and later, if I'm not doing anything, instead of calling out in public, I look the other side. I feel more could have been done in the current regime, in the regime before this. For the last 30 years, it could have been done. But you know what, my brother? Mm-hmm. I feel either directly or indirectly or in some way remotely or par- partly in their campaigns, some of this money is what they have used in the past 30 years. I'm not just <laughs> talking about now. And that's why uh-uh. it's so difficult. But you know, you can repent. Uh, there is, was even a guy in the Bible known as Razarus. Uh, uh, no, no, he was do, known as uh, Zacchaeus. Na limambia mungu, ila yote ni meimba, ni tumatarudisha maraine. Mimi nagoja watuambie hivyo. Na sisi tutawasemea, tutawakinawarudishe, so that vijana, they get jobs. My brother, this is 
For all we are saying in the Kenya, I can promise you I had billion. Mm. The elephant in the room in Kenya, Kenyans work hard. There is a lot of money. Look at all these cars. Look at the, the, the things in Kenya. It is the fact that corrupt our money goes through the whole of corruption. So we right. get the money we put in our pocket. In a toke, uko, in a ingia kwa siwa. <laughs> that is our problem. And nobody is emphasizing. Now, now, now still, um, let me come to you to indicate this particular aspect here. We have those who are still being investigated in, in, in terms of matters concerning corruption. Yes. Should, do, your thoughts in regards to that, just uh, as we, uh, before I move on to something else, huh? mm -hmm. should they be allowed to compete? Should they be allowed to vie for their different political seats? And what is your take as an aspirant to become who, who, for the deputy uh, president's position here? Uh, in honesty, I think if you're corrupt, you yeah. should sit aside. As long as you're being investigated. Yes, if you're being investigated. Remember, you're still uh, yes. innocent till proven guilty. Yes, So you can't say they're corrupt. Till, oh, yes. Mm. So if you're in being investigated, mm -hmm. where they smoke, there's, there's fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe if you're being investigated, uh -huh. there is something that there has been seen. Okay. So for me, sit aside. Don't vie. Don't vie. Sit aside, be the innocent one. Then after we finish, they can also come and look for us. We're in, we in, we in the government. And they come and prove themselves. Nona, Weshimiwa, I was mm. clean. Mm. So you, we can give them something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. We can, we can sit down and discuss on those levels and clear them. But the fact that that same person being investigated mm -hmm. is still allowed to run. We are just recycling. What we, we are doing, Kenyans, we are just recycling. This same person, we are strengthening the person to come back and even improve what they did so that they do not get caught. All right. All right. Yes. Um, uh, let me come to you, Maure. Yes, yes. Bibiago. Bad leadership has been one aspect you've been talking a lot about. Yes, bad yes. leadership. How do you intend to correct that? Because um, as some say, everything begins and ends with the leadership. You know, you know, I agree with you. Uh, the best thing of a leader, that a leader, leadership can be exercised, is the way you lead. Mm. You lead by example, the life you live. Yeah. Are you corrupt? Are you being named as associated with things that are affecting Kenyans? The, the other thing, leadership comes with humility. That's why we call it uh, servant leadership. Mm. We, the, that, the, 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 the fourth, the third, leadership comes with effective communication. Mm. No, no. First of all, listening and communication. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, my brother, right now we are dealing with the high cost of living. Yeah. Right now we are living with the poverty right now we are living with um, um, employment but you know i am saying we had opportunity to address this we had opportunity to address this but you ask me what mm -hmm. are you we seeing is the largies of those we are competing with we will lead by example indeed if mm -hmm. if if it were not for matters maybe international accepted standards that you have to have security uh madam ruth and i would like to be ordinary Walk out here, tunakutana na nyi, tunasalimia mahali, nilikuwa nakunya chai kwa kioski, mm. nasikiza wananchi, nakana vijana, wale wengine, ya, yeah, na wa, wazewa rika yangu. The other one is, listen to Kenyans. Then there is a final one. This is one is a killer. Uh -huh. Democracy is government for the people and by the people. Our government has not been by the people. We have not involved Kenyans by listening, by mm. empowering them. Part of what will be coming out in our manifesto, there are a couple of things that have been discussed in the past, but they were mixed up with other things. We intend to see that a lot of money is devolved because we want, we want to empower, and that's part of our economic uh, blueprint, mm. empower the people. All right. There, yeah. is, there is the other one they are calling, Yangini Akwenja Ju, Yangini Akutele Mukajini, Triko. For us, we are talking empower the people. More oh. money to counties, uh. more money to the ground. Let the development start there. But so also, you're, you're even in tendering, in even, even in the tendering, no, 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 even uh. in tendering, uh. what are what to kai up? What's the name of the Ndugu Ram? What's Dada Ruth? Uh. Pale, decisions, pale, decision, pale. To Nataka Pekka Serikali Kutoka Ukuju, Upper Chini Kwa Nainchi. All right, let's talk, about, let's talk about the aspect of the, the pillar economy. of by the people. By the people. Let's talk about the aspect of the, of the economy. How do you intend to improve the economy? Because you have so many different economic models being proposed by different aspirants. 
I, I, yetu tunasema is empower the people. Mm. And how do you do? We are great supporters, Ruth and I, of development. And we support it. And what we are saying, there has been discussions. We want to put a lot of money down there. And not only put it there and decisions are being made here or here. We want to... Th we want within there to be groups of people who will be making decisions. We want to restore back the cooperative movements, the circle movement, because those are important. Mm. You see, in advanced countries, kule Europe, see at work on a mashaba makubwa, kama vile Kenya tuko, all our land, it is that economy is determined from down there. Mm. Yes, there will be the producers here. But also down there, there are producers. You know, you, you know, you know. We still have so, another another presidential aspirant who has a similar approach to yours, and there is a particular name that they are referring that to. Well, well you know, you know, you know, you uh, know, this is not his or their policy, mm. and even the others are not saying anything different. The only that, the only thing is that none of them. But now they are going to steal mine from today. Utaona mm. watanza kuzema ilen mesema. We we want at ile ilikuwa inasemekana 15%. We would, if it were possible, get it to 50% ya national cake yende kwa grassroots. What wanze kufanya nini biashara? 50%. Vijana ikiwezekana, ata kama mm. ingewezekana. Mm. I told you I'm, I'm not being completely firm because the financial, there's a financial committee and the projection which is looking at it. Okay. Vijana wako kwa grassroots. Kina mama wako kule. Wanze wapate pesa wape ze kupata mkopo agriculture waze ku you know to effect it from there mm. empower people let the government be by the people right. a government for by the people let, let, let me come to you Ruth and uh, of course I want to talk about the people and particularly a particular set of people women mm. yes um, as someone who uh, I know has really talked a lot about the power of women mm. and how women can bring a change you know how different do you see yourself now that you're vying in, 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 for this particular uh, seat in terms of bringing a change to the women mm. and empowering the women the, the normal kwanjiko the kenyan woman to believe in themselves and of course to even change their lives now that you are you want to be at the top seat yes. there yeah um what i'm coming to represent here for me, even the advantage that I have is I'm sitting in for the woman and the youth, mm -hmm. the two sets, yeah. the set. So uh, for, the, for that woman, I need, I'm coming to represent the two-thirds gender. I'm sitting in as a deputy and a lady because I will be able to monitor the 30% implementation of the women in, in government, in the women, in the executive. Mm. So I will be able not only, not only to have it reported, I will be able to push for the agenda of the women with the president first hand, first hand level. Mm -hmm. So the women will be able to have a voice. These, the women, we also have a set of women who are widowed. Ladies, what wanananyanganyo mashamba? Ladies, yeah, just because yeah, you have yeah. lost a husband, why? Mm -hmm. Why should I lose my shamba just because my husband has rested, unfortunately? And the piece of land that we were happily having mm. all of a sudden is grabbed back because by the brothers, mm. by the family, I am coming to fight for that. And I, how, how are we going to fight for that, for these women here? I'm, I'm coming to voice and I'm coming to bring up a voice. We will come, uh, we'll come up with a law, mm. a law that says once this is passed, once a family or you have a, a document, it cannot be revoked uh -huh. back. Laws that can be able to yes, protect women. A law that will protect the women. Oh. from the very beginning and cannot be revoked because it, it, it beats it beats logic that when when he's alive the land is ours when he's rested it is not ours and i am chased away together with the kids so i'm coming to protect that too mm -hmm, yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, I love that um your, your thoughts in, in regards to that because as a man who is uh, also supporting women now that you have an <laughs> uh, deputy presidential, presidential aspirant who is like, supporting like, that like the youth mm. women are also the backbone of this nation. Yeah. Empowering the woman will what it abadilisha kabisa. Because for us, we are talking about total change. And total change means change even the leaders. Don't recycle. Right now, if you are not careful, you'll be recycling and we'll go back to where we were. Because the first thing, they will start recovering what they have spent. Mm. The woman is very important, and that's why I chose uh, 
uh, and it was not something that was done easily. There was a lot of consideration a woman. Mm. She will, Ruth will bring, a woman brings, just like Ruth will bring, Madam Ruth will bring a woman touch to my presidency. Yeah. The women in government will bring a women touch. Our proposal is, I've had some of our competitors say they will choose 50% in the cabinet. Mm. Ruth and I have been discussing with our team and we are looking at the possibility, not just of 50, at Ikiwe Zekana, but you hear us finally what will be in our manifesto. Mm -hmm. We would even want if they can be more. If they can be more. Mm -hmm. You heard me? Yeah. If they can be more. More than so, 50%. Yes, yes. And, uh, and the women are also great in production. Mm. Women, women work 24 hours. Men work eight and so on. And then they go home, they put their feet on the sofa. Wanaangalia TV, mpila. <laughs> na kwaza season ya mpila ina itaingia. Punde si punde. Unaona? Uh. So, 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 we are key on that. It will be important to strengthen the law. Yes, after deaths of uh, loved ones, spouses, partners, women go through a lot of suffering. All right. The girl child... Is, 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 is still a challenge, but now, we would want to be the government that will make a difference. Now, um, there is something that is still very important that um, I, I have, I've seen um, presidential aspirants address. And let me quote you, Maura. You said this, and I quote, Based on the grueling process that I went through during clearance, I can tell they are up to the task, and my request would just be about the electoral transmission of the results. I hope the commission will ensure that the technology is reliable. End of quote. We we're talking about the IEBC. Correct. I would like you to address the issue because many are talking about whether it will be able to give a, a, a clean, a clear, credible, free, and fair election. I understand and I share, thank you, Ram, Ram, for that question. I understand and I share the concern of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. It is important, and I'm addressing the IBC here, that you be seen to be uh, cleaner, to be pure, to be whiter than Caesar's wife. You've mm -hmm. heard the saying. Yeah. Because, because elections are a covenant, and that's why our party is known as Agano Party, between the elected and us. When I put my vote, or when you, youth, you put your vote for Ruth and I, which we are asking you to do that when you get there, you are saying we are getting into an agreement, a covenant, a sealed one, mm. that when you get there, you will fight for our rights. The, there was talk, the, 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 the area I found, at Bomas, the growing was tough. And you can see the people from 58, we are thankful and we are humbled by the grace of God and Kenyans that we were among the four. So for them to reject the other number, you can be sure it was not an easy task. Mm. Even for us, we had to go back, but it's only that we were prepared. We had quick replacement of three counties, just a couple of things. And everybody, even the so being, being called so big, big boys or horses, we know they had challenges. Uh, this issue about some votes cannot have been transferred. It's a matter they need to continue coming out clean on. But let me tell you, I looked at those uh, men and women. I had particularly those we interacted with because the commissioners were up there uh, when they were checking our document. They said, you know, for the last two, three days we haven't slept. It's not a walk in the park. I think we should wish them goodwill. Uh, I, um, I have heard them say they don't want to see a repeat of the 2017 debacle mm. of the 2007. And thank for Kenyans. And, and, and uh, that will be when I get to my last word. I know we'll exercise peace. Mm. I, 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 for me, I would like to empower them. I would like to wish them good. Wale tunaomba tuwaombe. Wale tunasa kuwasaidia tuwasaidia. And because Chipkati has promised, they will sort out whatever the issue, they will be transparent. Mm. Let's not bring them down. Tusipofanya hivo, na uchaguzi umeingia, na uchaguzi ni haki yetu kwa kikatiba. What do the alternative do we want? All right. Ruth, let me come to you and uh, address that because many are, are asking even international communities, mm. observers to come and, of course, uh, also be part of these general elections. Do you believe in its credibility and uh, your voice to the uh, part of IBC being uh, told, you know what, we question whether you will be able to deliver these elections? Uh, I, I would add to say that... Uh the process, the IBC process that we went through mm. was quite intense. 
very intense and uh, that is why that gives us more reason to feel like we are ready for an election for a free credible and fair election mm. you know when we plant a seed of doubt we will harvest that so from our end what we saw and being on this seed we believe we will have a free election mm -hmm. you yes believe so. now i'm still on your route because now this aspect of whether an election is free and uh, or fair yes. has caused a lot of problems in the past yes i would like you to talk concerning matters concerning chaos mm. riots and and, and 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 you know the youths have been yes. the people who have been at the forefront yes. when it comes to this mm. you know uh, we don't want a repeat of 207 yes. we don't want that yes. um, how, how, what should you do what, what's your voice in regards to that and how can we make this election different uh i'd wish we i'd wish us to go in this with uh, a sober mind let us be optimistic that there is always a winner and a loser mm. so youth we are always the target of throwing the stones we are the targets of destruction so we can only sit for you to see these manifestos taking place you're not going to destroy someone's shop and expect employment mm. so we need to sit up make sober decisions stand up and accept the fact that there's one who will get in and there's one who needs to accept defeat so peace is essential for us because we need to live our lives from ninth thereafter we need to go to school we need to go to work so please let us all work together mm -hmm. we don't need to throw anything at anyone we don't need to hurl to hold names against each other we are kenyans that is all we need to be and let us sad, be peaceful it is sad if, if you see a mother you know, um, a crime because they lost their child. Yes. Because they were just out in the streets it, there. It is, it is painful. I am a mother. It is, it is very painful. And some of them are even mistaken. And some of them, whether involved in the scene or not, it is very painful. So that is why my cry is, please, the youth or the elderly who are being used to bring destruction, stop accepting 200 shillings to throw stones to damage any property that belongs to a fellow Kenyan or any other person that is, have, is, that is, that is demonstrating their legal right mm -hmm. to, to vote for mm -hmm. the person that they choose. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, let, me, let me come to you, Maure, uh, yes, as you give your voice in regards to that, because many Kenyans even started being skeptical. Remember the by-elections that we've been having in different yes, regions. Yes, yes, you know, yes. we were seeing chaos coming up, and people were saying, you know, if this is, is if this is just a by-election, mm -hmm. what about the general election? Mm -hmm. let, let me call upon the youth of Kenya and all Kenyans in general. I know you youth, you also reach to your parents and your colleagues who might probably be be at work. Number one, election is very important. Election, just like politics, has to do with life. It has to be with your livelihood. Mm. We don't have to fight. Mm. We normally fight. We have peacelessness, number one, because we exercise our right to vote wrongly. I mean, I can tell you, if you opt to change this time and bring new faces, there's about to Nasima Badrisha, I can tell you everybody, even our competitors, I believe, believe it's time for change. Mm. Let's keep the peace. Let's educate each other. Life will continue. Why is it that when we are growing up in school, in primaries, we don't fight? You don't even know me by my tribe. I don't know my sister by her tribe. I don't know my brother by his tribe. We know each other as Kenyans. We are a great nation. I've written a book, Hope for Kenya. There is hope and this is a time for hope. All you need to do, watch any safari. Because I have to mesunguka yu mulima sana to badirishe. Vita itakuwa something of the past. Nobody will oppose if you elect Ruth and I. I'm telling you, hatukutakuwa vita. Hakutakuwa vita. All right. Um, uh, uh, let's go to... <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Kweli. <laughs> uh, uh, let's head over to our Facebook page. And of course, on our Facebook page, 
uh, we uh, posted our question there and of course tuliwauliza kama vijana mngependa kujua nini uh, uh, from our presidential aspirants uh, David uh, uh, Wahega and uh, Ruth Mutua of course the each vying for the presidential uh, uh, post and the deputy presidential post uh, respectively let's take a look at what people are saying this is a sala sele hey hey Selecta mlazti anasema nataka kujua uh, mbona wanafanya hii the, uh, anasema ti, isn't this going to be a waste of money because some believe that kuna, there are people who, are, who deserve it better uh, of course many are saying hey uh, whether uh, will we really vote for them nataka kujua agenda yake Andrew Karibu anasema nataka kujua agenda yake kwa vijana wanasoma na hawana job na pia wenye hawajasoma na hawana job alafu pia zile njia ata kuwa akitumia ku fight corruption juu hiyo ndio janga kubwa hapa Kenya thanks in advance asante sana Andrew and of course we have uh, uh, this is Wanjala anasema tuned in thank you so much uh, uh, Wanjala Juma Paulo anasema nataka kujua kama um, uh, uh, anajua if this thing is going to be a successful endeavor because he iko na watu wake I think you will talk about that ndio yeah um mm -hmm. uh, Brian Kim, Kimani anasema kama kuna kakitu kwa vijana ah project <laughs> 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 uh, ana anaongea uh, project uh, ama hiyo nyingine kakitu anasema anatuma mpesa Eddie Rizli anasema vijana hatuna job atusaidie atatusaidia aje hapo Aha Manu Origin anasema uh, tuned in asante sana Ryan anasema anataka kujia the manifestos Aha uh -huh. and uh, Kevo anasema they want to know life yake itakuwa vipi Rare Genotype anasema first let me say thank you so much to Ruth Mutua and uh, Mwaure Wahega for understanding that women are the agenda that women are business uh, are a business to discuss for a long time nobody talks about women women are already left out and we run to casual and usual promises that that of electricity job opportunities and all that finally i want to uh, ask the aspirant what they have for the youth asana sana let me just give you time to respond to Ruth those yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean nataka kuongea mambo ya if if we are going to succeed mm wezi sema hii wezi sema hii game iko na specific people at the big boys own mm. it Mm. Nitarudia chenye nilisema. Wanasema two horse race. Ati two horse race. <laughs> two horse race hiyo ni race yao. Sisi sisi we are not in competition. We have mm. said this is our race. Sisi tunafanya what we believe no. is going to bring mabadiliko katika nchi ya Kenya. Mm. So we are in this because tumechoka. So hata wao mwanarika anafaa kuchoka. Akiingiza remember ukiingiza the same old people hizi shida zibadiliki au unaita two horse race wamekuwa wao ndio wameleta hizi mashida zote. Wao ndio wameanzilisha 50 I, I can almost say 59 59 years ago because mm. it has its history. It has accrued over a time. It has accrued over a time. Mm. Kwa hivyo ukitaka uh, ukitaka the two horse race wa kwendi the only people there this will only advance our issues the economy will only advance. Sasa ni laz, lazima mkuje mlete the new face mabadiliko try the new broom sisi ni kifagio mpya when you take an old broom and sweep that it does not sweep clean mm. kuna ile chepe chepe ama kidogo kidogo inabaki take that new broom and sweep up so we are the new broom that is coming to sweep and make a difference in the country we are not wasting resources mm. because we have had a lot of people cry out because they want change mm. change cannot be the old so like at unaribu pesa juu hakuna kuaribu pesa we are ready for the people who are ready to believe in us we are in need for that. Let me give you time to respond to those comments on social on social media. Aya, wacha wacha asanteni muendelee tu ku, kutuma wajumbe. Um, let wacha sisi tuseme kwa niaba ya dada yangu Ruth na mi mwenyewe na hata nyimbo ambao mnatusikiza. Tuko hapa kwa studio tumeingia katika hiki kinyanyiro mm. kwa sababu tunawajari. We feel you. We feel you. We feel the challenges of Kenya. We tunasema safari ya 9th August. Ni lazima twende katika kiwango kingine cha maisha. Hii nchi lazima ifike kule kwa Singapore, 
it must get to South Korea, Malaysia. Wakati wa independence na wengi wetu hatukua tumezaliwa. You know, this ata umesikia ikizimekana Kenya was lending money to them. We are saying with Ruth sisi hatuja kuwa huko tukijuhusisha with the things that have brought us a debt of going now to 10 trillion. Number two, sisi hatuja kuwa mentioned kwa yale mambo tulisema kashfa na kadhalika. Sisi tunasema you know the only permanent thing you can have is change. All right. Now, It's the only thing. Now um tunalete na wakati mwingine hata ile koti umefaa shati wakati mwingine unasemaga sasa hii nimeifaa sana. Nitaibadilisha kwa sababu nataka kuonekana mpya. And you are addressed the way you are dressed. Tunawaombeni. Tunakuja kumleta mabadiliko ambayo inahitajika. Ndugu yangu Ramu kuna swali lingine uko sawa uko eh, sawa asante eh, na tuko, tunasikia uchungu i want us to bring this eh, conversation na hata dream yako na yangu ni valid hata wewe unaweza kusimama kwa hivyo usiseme tunapoteza wakati lakini tunaeleva vile unasema uh. utajiona tujiona na helicopter lakini hiyo helicopter imetoka wapi <laughs> na si let's, sasa, let's wrap it up eh, let's wrap it up eh, eh. ruth let me give you time to have a final word and then i'll come back to you maure final word as we bring this conversation to a close what would be uh, the, the final thing that you said that is your camera uh, as uh, we wrap it up uh for me a peaceful election is all we ask for uh yes choose agano choose agano the president is uh, david maure and the all deputy right. myself ruth musheru mutua please let us have a peaceful election i do not need to break anything so that uh, i look a bit uh, popular or a bit superior and Wacha tuweke mabadiliko. All right. Thank Our slogan so remains badilisha. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Na mimi dugu zangu uh, and yes. my brothers and sisters and say peace 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 during the elections. Vijana tukibadilisha tutakuwa na amani, tutakuwa na hope. There is hope for you. Mm. Peace. Chukua kula yako ichonge. Sema sasa ulikuwa hata unashindwa ni nani utapigia kura. Lakini sema mwambie mwingine nimewaona ni wale ambao wale wanasemekana ni punda. Kumbe hata hawa ndio farasi kuchinda wale wengine. Peace, amani, badilisha, badilisha, badilisha tutapata hiyo yote. Right, Mungu awabariki so tunawapenda, tuko pamoja kama mngekuwa hapa tungebashika hivi. God bless you. Asante sana. That is uh, of course David Maure Waiga and Ruth Mutua. Agano party presidential candidates. Of course, uh, thank you so much for coming. I believe our youth need to know about all these things and of course thank you so much for finding time to join me asana sana and I wish you guys the best thank you uh, thank you sir all right and of course that business to the end of this uh, morning conversation right on why in the morning my name is Ram Maguko it's it has been a pleasure being with you today keep it y254 for more of, of our programming that is to the end of this particular show but again see you again tomorrow keep talking to us keep engaging this conversation does not end remember we still have more candidates that we've not interviewed looking forward to having more of this of course i am have a good day may god bless you may god bless the work of your hands <laughs>